one of the usual um, expressions of greetings is how are you and uh, normal response is uh, I am good isn't it is that the right response for that question depends on uh, whom you ask in my early years uh, one of my parishioners who was a retired teacher went by the grammar and he corrected me, not only me, he corrected everyone and said, the answer to the question, how are you, is I am well, not good. Good is something others should tell, you, uh, tell about you. But, uh, what he missed is that uh, since um, he learned the Ronan Martin uh, grammar, things have changed, the philosophy of life has changed, and uh, now not many would say, uh, I am well to that question, they would always say, good. According to the present uh, philosophy, is uh, I who make my life good. And nobody else needs to vouch to that, I am good. And we may go one more step further and say, anything I do is good. Didn't think I do is uh, good just because I do it. Nobody tells me what I should do. Isn't that the philosophy we always uh, hear? Such an approach here was uh, what we see in this uh, scribe, a wise man or a learned man who asked Jesus also had. Of course, the question was not about uh, how are you. He was asking Jesus a question, which is the greatest commandment? Can you tell me? Not because he doesn't know it. Uh, scribes were the scholars amongst the uh, Jewish people. He just wanted to test Jesus or rather there was a little more uh, ulterior motive. He wanted Jesus to say what the Jewish people recited every day as a prayer or a reminder, and some of them even uh, wrote that bit on a parchment, put in a box and tied it on the forehead because that was so important. Even now you see some of the very orthodox uh, Jews doing that. And that was this, uh, Shema Israel, or Hear Israel. I am the Lord your God. There is no other God. Love, love your God with all, my, all your heart, mind, and soul, or uh, with all your mind, soul, and all strength. That's what uh, was the most important commandment. And that is from um, the book of Deuteronomy. I think when I wrote the message, I said Genesis, so it's a correction there. But um, Jesus said uh, that's true, but along with that there is one more commandment, and that is uh, love your neighbor as yourself. That is from another book, uh, book of uh, Leviticus. So what Jesus was doing was this, uh, you think you are really great and good and you want to be praised because you love God, you trust in uh, God and uh, show your faith in God by saying, um, I love my God with all my heart, soul and strength. So he thought he is going to be praised for that. And what Jesus told him is that uh, your faith 
cannot be self-centered and God is not going to grace you just because uh, you have done some devotional or pious things for uh, your own sake. There is another dimension to our uh, spiritual life and that is to reach out to others and uh, adding that dimension to that only you become a good uh, religious person. And even there um, the scribe says, uh, oh master you know everything, you are well spoken master, what you said is true. He is uh, confirming what uh, Jesus said. So once again, uh, it's uh, all about uh, myself, how good, great and uh, knowledgeable I am. Is that going to be the, the best uh, um, expression of our religiosity? No. Knowing is uh, one thing. Jesus told him, you are not too far from the kingdom of God. You know everything, so you are not too far, but uh, you haven't got there yet. What should you do to get there? Now, you know what to do? Do that. Not enough to speak or profess it. Live by what you profess, and then you will enter the kingdom of God. And it's a great uh, teaching for us to uh, our Lord, who has given us this enlightenment and revelation, help us to live by that faith. God bless you. Thank